going on everybody welcome back to the channel well i am here in wine country i'm in the heart of wine country napa california but i'm not here to taste wine i'm here to check out some cemeteries and see what they got going on over here i am at tulo k cemetery here in napa so far what little i've seen it's a beautiful cemetery so far so let's go check it out and see what they got to offer um, i'm going to try to check out a couple different cemeteries out here while i'm here today so let's uh, get on with it this is a beautiful beautiful cemetery now right off the bat a stone caught my eye over here and it's of a gentleman and it, it's caught my eye because of the design as you can see here it looks like um, his picture, Ramon Aceto, he lived from 1897 to 1925. It looks like his picture is in the middle of a badge. And I don't know if you can make it out here, but it says traffic officer, state of California. And I did uh, a find a grave search on this gentleman. And it says, yes, he was a traffic officer out here for the state of California. And he was a captain. It says on top, captain. And his cause of death was an airplane crash in 1925 and as you can see there's a picture of this gentleman right here it's a good picture it's still in good shape and he was it says on the top of the stone like i said captain and then it says traffic officer that was awesome and this one right here the DPSA family, if that's how you pronounce it. It looks like Jacob over here. Jacob and Rosa. Rosa was his wife. Uh, Jacob, they were, he was born November 4th, 1854, died September 18th, 1922. It says rest in peace. And there is the last name for what I could gather on this gentleman he was a local businessman it said and that's about all the information I could find on him but here's actually his stone right here might be different might be might be okay this is that his his he was 1858 to 1928 I think his wife was actually the other date And we got a John here too, 1885 to 1966 actually. Wow. Interesting. Just walking through here and this stone totally caught my eye. Lecare is the last name. Edward and see here he was born 1858 and died in 1930 i don't know the sun's hitting the stone i don't know if you can make it out too well i think it is coming out pretty good and this design looks like a log with, it, with uh, a hatchet up top and a mallet i think that's a dove possibly a woodman of the world i looked him up i couldn't find much on him but it was just the uh, design of the stone just totally caught my eye. It's so awesome. And this is a whole family area we got. And Edgar, father, husband, Edgar, and baby son, 1907 to 1941, until we meet again. We got a Jerry LeCare, 1888-1954. I'm loving this stone design. We got, uh, it says mother, Oberlin, 1868-1943, and daughter, Malvina, 1901-1988. This whole row is, is the family brother. Albert, May 8th, 1905, January 4th, 1962. Eno, 1903 to 1971, rest in peace. This is here, another beloved mother, Francis, 1915 to 1988, in loving memory. Beautiful, this whole road here is the same family. 
So far, this is an awesome cemetery, and the high today, temperature-wise, is going to be 99 degrees at some point today. Um, so I've got plenty of water. I've got my hat on. <laughs> I've got Gatorade in my backpack and water. So we're going to be okay today. There's a lot of shade around here. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of trees and a lot of shade that I'm finding. So, yeah, we should be okay today. The cemetery looks pretty big. So um, let's go... Uh, Check it out. Talk about cool, unique stones. Look at this one right here. Bird, Thomas John. February 2nd, 1953 to May 15th, 2018. And it says underneath that it says software engineer and obviously there's a love of cars there as well beloved husband beloved father that is actually cool it's a different stone as you can see the design this one right here gagaro family we got here Frank, 1880 to 1957, and Bern Bernardina, 1883 to 1960, which is a beautiful, beautiful uh, little spot here. But what I found really interesting here, I almost missed it, down here at the bottom between the two. Baby Silva. January 20th to February 20th, 1908. I saw this one with this beautiful iron gate around it. Very awesome. Gorgeous. And being that the gate door is locked and chained, I'm not going to step over, you know, to look at the stone just out of respect. Um, I can't even make out the name on the stone from here. But like I said, I, you know, it's easy to step over this gate, but being that it's locked and it's not kind of like freely open, I, I'm not going to do that. Another stone that drew me in here. I've never quite seen one like this before. Look how beautiful it is. These big... Uh, vases on the side to hold flowers, like big flower pots. And it's a uh, Lupe Haro Revalacaba. <laughs> Probably just butchered that. 420-1937 to 5-4-2014. Um, beautiful, beautiful stone. Look at that. There's a picture of her on there as well. Beautiful. At the top here in this columbarium is an adult film star named Candy Barbour, or her actual real name is Candy Dotson. She starred in over 40 adult films. She lived from 1959 to 2012. Um, and she was actually worked in strip clubs, um, was actually reportedly in an episode of Magnum P.I. with Tom Selleck. And it says... In 2009, she was inducted into the pioneer branch of the X-Rated Critics Organization's Hall of Fame. And it says, at the end of her life, she was homeless on the streets of San Francisco and was found dead on the streets of San Francisco from undisclosed causes. What do you guys say we go find some uh, mausoleums, some private mausoleums? There's a ton of them here that I saw walking up on the road here. So let's check it out. Oh, here we go. We're getting up into them now. This one is awesome looking right here. Brown family. This is Brown 1885 up top. Door looks really cool. Check it out. This is Brown right there. 
Look at this door. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a door on one of these like this before. Can we make out what's inside? Oh boy, I'm saying Marguerite Craig, wife of Thomas Long, MD, 1890 to 1927. Conrad Brown, Harry Mills, Ava Mills, Willie Brown. And there's one up top of the left there that's not marked or anything. I'm gonna try to look up some of these names and see if we got anything on anybody in here. Noise, N-O-Y-E-S is the last name on this one. Jeez, this is spectacular. for 12 in here and it looks like there's about 11 so far wow that stained glass the back is trippy I'm gonna try to zoom in on that on the right in the middle here the, the closest one to me we have James Noyes he was born March 4th 1888 in Napa here and he died March 4th 1981 in Napa and it says he was a Napa pioneer resident and was associated with his brother, the late Frank G. Noyes at Noyes Lumber Company. It says Mr. Noyes plays baseball for local leagues and went to work for his brother in the lumber company at an early age. He was active in Napa Valley Country Club and was a former member of the Kiwanis Club and the St. Francis Yacht Club in San Francisco. He was also a former member of the board of directors of the Parks Victory Hospital here. Well, that's interesting. And his brother was Frank. I think Frank is up here, top top left here. So very interesting. Lumber company, lumber family. Smith Brown, 1887. This is gorgeous here. Got the little flower pots on either side. That's awesome. Francis Edgerton. January 31st, 1902. Bottom there, D. Wheelock, 1887. Died March 1st. Delia, July 7th, 1903. There, Smith Brown, November 20th, 1901. Chloe, beloved wife of Smith, October 26th, 1905. But look at the handles. On these, it's like like the, like those old dresser drawer handles that are um, usually on those old dressers and stuff. Those are cool. There's a cat over here. Hey, kitty, kitty. Hi, kitty, kitty. Oh, look at the baby right here. The little cemetery kitty. Look at you. Look at you, baby. Oh, look at you. You're a pretty kitty. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty and friendly, too. Where are you? Oh, little pretty baby. Bye bye. Oh, looks like I made a friend here. Look at you. You're such a pretty baby. 
soft, kind of grimy feeling, but still soft. Look at your baby. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Well, you keep following me around, and you're rolling in the dirt now. You keep, you keep following me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yo. You want me to get you? Nope. Guess not. Tried to share my water with him. Poured it in, in a little cap for the bottle, but he wouldn't have it. Now this one is interesting. It is the final resting place of Ira Gilchrist. Um, and it's it's a very odd shaped one, as you can see here. There, and there's no door on either side. It's just completely closed off. Ira here uh, lived from 1822 to 1880 and he was um, in the area an architect and I guess at the time of his death he was um, working on an opera house in the area that was being constructed and it said um, in a newspaper article that I found that he fell to his death off of a ladder and sustained serious head injuries but like I said there's no door on this very very odd both sides of it there's nothing when they put them in they must have just put this front part on to seal it off I guess but look at this I wish I could see the inside of this thing, it would be cool. In here there is an Ira J. Gilchrist who said it was an infant son, aged less than one year. It says his birth was 1880 and August 12th, 1880 was the, um, the death date on the infant son of Ira. And Ira's widow, Mary Abbott, she was born in 1841 in Ireland and died February 20th, 1904 in Napa here. And she was the widow of Ira, the architect. Before we end this video, we're going to end it here at the Veterans Memorial Wall that I just found. Different branches of the U.S. military and everybody who is on the Memorial Wall here. Different branches, different wars, different everything. And it says, the memorial tribute, monuments may weather with time, but the actions of those who served and the principles for which they stood shall never fade as long as we remember. Wow, we got some Vietnam War, we got World War II, Korea, just different, different, um, let me pick one here, Richard Eugene Benson Sr., Marine Corps, World War II, May 15th, 1924 to October 31st, 1973, this is just beautiful here. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all of my future uploads. I'm going to continue on in here and try to bring you guys some more uh, cool stuff, some more historic stuff, all that. So until we meet again, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.